because I never get sick. Because I eat the food, everyone else is feeling bad, but I feel excellent. <laughs> so I realized my stomach must be Indian. And I also realized that my heart is really Indian. Of course, it also belongs to Blakey, but, but Indian is my first love. And uh, to be able to participate and support this project is really one of my favorite issues here. And then after a while, uh, we planned a visit to Chennai and to Andhra Pradesh to see uh, the universities and also the fantastic governor of Andhra Pradesh. Uh, and I've been there back in September to Andhra and uh, I realized me and the fantastic old governor, we, we were really friends. He was so nice, uh, he remembered me immediately, and you know he also speaks Swedish. Uh -huh. He remembers a lot of things about Sweden, because he used to spend a lot of time in Sweden when he was younger, and uh, he knew all about old politicians, so many streets in Stockholm, restaurants in Stockholm, he knew a lot about <laughs> Stockholm. So I, I felt a bit ashamed, because I was not as good at remembering Hindi as he was at remembering Swedish. Uh, I think when I was a small girl, India was regarded in Sweden as a very poor country. You had to help India a lot, you had to give aid, people were poor, people were hungry, and of course it's still the case in many parts of India. But India has also grown and developed so much knowledge, so nowadays India and Sweden could really exchange experiences, research, business, and of course, students. So I really wish success for the project to have more Swedish students realize how much they could learn by going to India. So that's, I think, is one of our main issues to really work on. Uh, but we also very much appreciate you coming here. Because the best way to get to learn a culture and a country is to go there. India, I, I feel as my home, but I must tell you, I was in China for the first time. And you don't realize what a country is because, before you've been there. So I think it's so important that you spend this year here. I hope you've got to learn a lot of people and also have developed some sort of feeling and love for Sweden and Bekinge. So that you, when you go home, I wish many of you would like to stay here and work here and starting business here or whatever. But I realize many of you are going back to India or somewhere else in the world. So we really want you to keep Bekinge in your hearts and really be the ambassadors that Eva Lisa was talking about. So that you promote us and you come back, you recommend to your friends that they should come here and if you have something interesting in there that you want us to see, that you get in touch, come down and see us, we have some ideas, we want to go on cooperating. Because that's what it's all about, to have relationships and cooperation for mutual benefit for both Sweden, Vekinge and India. So, as a little memory, so you don't have to have everything in your heads, but I realize you have a lot of room in your heads, but we want to give you this little, this is an IT country, you know that? Yes, <laughs> of course you know. A USB memory with some pictures and information about Blekinge. And we want you to keep it and use it as often as you <laughs> so, as a memory, I want every one of you to come and not to say goodbye, but au revoir. We say in France, in, we say in Hindi, see you again. Pirmelenge. <laughs> okay, so we start with you. Thank you so much. Uh, we also
embassy have a small bag with some brochures, don't have everything in the, in, in the member state. The bags are outside there. You don't need to carry it now, but take one when you leave. <laughs> <laughs> I need more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay.